Okay, so to install our application, um, you're going to have to um, get some uh, prerequisite material first. So first of all, of course, you need your Fire Stick, uh, but then you need these two additional things. One is called the OTG cable. So you can purchase this off of Amazon for like five bucks for a two pack. I'll have an affiliate down below if you need to purchase this. Basically, what this cable does is it plugs using micro USB directly into the Amazon Fire Stick. And then there's another micro USB outlet. And this will plug into um, the normal uh, wall adapter that came with the Fire Stick. So for example, it looks something like this. So you take the normal um, kind of power that the Fire Stick came with and you plug it into this part. And then it has a USB female port here. And to plug into this, you're going to take the USB um, that is going to be preloaded with our application. So to prepare our USB stick, we are going to just type in this uh, SmartTube Next APK GitHub. And you're just going to search that on Google. And it is the first link that pops up. So this is the official installation website. So if you rather just read an installation guide, you can just follow this guide. But for the purpose of our video here, basically all these um, set of boxes are supported. Amazon Fire Stick TV, uh, Google TV, uh, which I also have an installation guide. Um, you can follow if you have that, that device instead. But the first thing is we are going to download our APK file. Click on installation. and click on this 79015 and this is going to direct you to download this link you can see it downloading to your folder and once it is downloaded you just open up the folder make sure you have your usb stick i got mine here if you need to purchase a usb stick i'll have one down in the amazon affiliate link down below where you can buy one of these things and you're going to plug this into your computer okay so again uh, from the downloads folder i'm copying this smart to beta apk file and then i just go to my usb drive and then i paste it here so i've already have this but yeah you won't you won't see this pop up because it's the first time you're doing it Anyways, paste it here so you can see SmartTube ASPK. And then you can just eject this USB drive. So you eject that. And then uh, now on to the next step, um, which I've already shown you. And you're just going to plug this into the USB port like, that, like so. And then you plug this Fire Stick into the monitor. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to our Play Store app library and we're going to search and install an app called uh, explore so you can just use the this or you can type it out explore and then so explore yeah, so is this first one, file manager. So we're going to download and install this. Okay, so that's getting downloaded. <clears throat> All right, and once that is downloaded, you're going to open it. Uh, files and media we are going to allow all files and then you're just going to press the back key here to go back remove permission if app is in use just make sure this is off go back and now you should be in this screen if you're not in this screen uh, you can just go back to the home tab and then go to your apps App Store and make sure to select uh, yeah so go to your app library 
and make sure to open explore like this all right so this is gonna pop up the file explorer for you and what you want to go is just go to your usb drive so as you can see you've already plugged in the usb drive and in this usb drive you should be able to find your apk file um, so i've already downloaded the smart 2 beta apk so i'm going to click on that um, it's going to go so you're saying you're not able to install for all apps so we go into settings and we just allow that so we're going to go to uh, about and we're going to click this yeah now i'm a developer developer options a db debugging make sure that's on install on all apps and explore that is on so once these two options are on you should be able to install from from the usb drive so you come back to explore click on your apk which is smart 2 beta and just click install and this should be installed so i'm just going to open that so now you have the smart tube app and it's going to allow you to watch videos without ads and it also has sponsor uh, skipping as well um, so this is a really great program um, make sure to support the developer i will leave a link uh, for their github page where you can donate to them um, and if you found this video useful and you'd like to support me for making content like this, uh, you can join my YouTube membership page, um, which is like a dollar a month or something. You can cancel any time. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, and if you're looking to purchase the OTG cable that I use in this um, video, then you can um, head on down to the description where I put a Amazon affiliate link. Uh, it costs nothing to you and I get some kickback from the sale of that product. Um, okay, so if you, another thing is that right now, this is just all generic content. Um, but if you want to have it synced up with your actual Google page, you can go here and you can sign in. Um, so the process for signing in is pretty simple. You just have to go to here to this website uh, on your Chrome browser and you just log in, um, just follow the instructions. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, so now that our app is installed, um, basically you can unplug this USB stick. It doesn't need this stick anymore uh, to operate. And even this OTG cable, you don't need it anymore. So if you want, you can just unplug it and plug directly this cable in, uh, which is the default Amazon kind of um, power cable but um, if you rather have this usb port there's a great use for it um, which is to connect an external uh, mouse and keyboard so the keyboard that i typically use is this uh, logitech media keyboard um, and it usually comes with a logitech kind of uh, usb um, dongle and you can just plug this dongle directly into the otg cable and this will act as a receiver for this keyboard. So this is great if um, you rather not use the voice assistant to find content, um, or if you uh, find that the voice assistant is hit and miss because perhaps like your English is not your first language. And sometimes uh, even for me, voice assistant is not so great at finding content. So this is where the keyboard comes in because you can type really quickly on the content you need to find. There's even a mouse trackpad here as well. There's a volume keys. And of course, you can also surf the web if you have a large TV using this keyboard as well. So if you're interested in purchasing this keyboard, I'll have an Amazon affiliate link down below. Um, so you can purchase it at no cost to you. Think cost, I get some kickback from the sale of the keyboard. And of course, uh, the OTG cable uh, kind of uh, sales link is down below as well.